Good afternoon. It's September 9th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update, and I'm Mike Stanton. Coming on the end of a relatively short holiday week after the Labor Day holiday and a relatively rough two-week period for interest rates. Uh, interest rates have surged higher over the last two weeks, supported by a drumbeat of comments from a wide variety of members of the Fed's Policymaking Open Markets Committee, who have made it clear that they remain strongly committed to fighting inflation as their top priority. The market is now assuming a 75 basis point increase in short-term rates at their next meeting later in September, with more rates to follow after that. In the muni market, that turned into higher rates over the last two weeks for both the 30-year and the 10-year. The 30-year is 36 basis points higher than it was, up to 3.5%, and the 10-year is uh, 25 basis points higher than it was, up to 2.74%. Those uh, higher rates have led to poorer performance in the muni market, and in turn, that has led to more municipal mutual fund outflows. We changed this chart this week to focus just on this year, and you can see that that really underscores what a steady drumbeat of outflows it has been for taxes at mutual funds this year. Uh, $1.1 billion of outflows reported by Lipper this week, following on the heels of $3.4 billion of outflows last week. Those trends are keeping pressure on the muni market and preventing it from outperforming the treasury market in any way. The ratio of tax exempt to taxable yields on the long end in 30 years is right above 100% now, and the ratio at uh, the 10 year mark is now up to 82%, relatively high historically. In the new issue market, again, relatively quiet, dominated this week by a few large transactions, $2.3 billion from the state of California, sold by Barclays this week, uh, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania sold $1 billion of GO bonds, and the Tribal Bridge and Tunnel Authority here in New York sold $750 million. On the BAM insured front, BAM insured $138 million of new issue transactions across 12 series. Uh, the largest one was for Yuma County, Arizona, pledged revenue obligations, priced by Piper Sandler. 57 million. And as we come down the home stretch, looking ahead to next week's new issue calendar, a little over $200 million on the calendar for BAM insured pricings. That's led by $88 million for Joliet, Illinois, which will be priced by Stiefel, and $80 million for the San Leandro Unified School District in California, scheduled to be priced by Piper Sandler. We'll see you next week with some updates from the Bond Buyers California Public Finance Conference, one of the largest conferences post COVID in the market. I expected to see more than 500 people in Los Angeles, so we'll have some insights on the market and particularly credit conditions in California next week. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you then.